worldwide. My name is Liz, and I'm here with my co-host. Me! You? Uh, well, my name is Simon, and I'm so glad to be back with you guys. We had Pastor Jordan on here last week. Yes, we did. That so was excited. fun. Yes. And Simon, yeah. we are on week number two of thankfulness. I know this last year has been insane. The last few weeks, the last few months, this whole year of 2020, crazy. Between COVID, now the elections, and other crazy events that have taken place, it's been stressful for a lot of people. It's been stressful for me. Yeah. But can I tell you something that has helped me through all of this? To think of what God has done for me. Yeah, when I think of His goodness, and what he's done for me, I want to dance. I want to clap. I want to shout. And I want to take it all the way back uh, to one of my favorite songs. It's an oldie, but, but a goodie. goodie. So we're gonna teach you these moves. I wanna ask for all of you to stand up. Everybody has to stand up. Everybody, everybody, you too. And you on the right over there, yes. And you. Hang on, mom, you've got to stand up too. Yup, yup, everybody. All right, ready, ready, ready? Okay, this is gonna be very easy. Yeah. Everybody's gonna go, when I think. Think. Oh, his goodness. Oh, his goodness. And what he's done for, for me. me. When, when I, I think, think of his, his goodness, goodness and how he set, set me free. free. And then you're basically going to freestyle to what it says. So let's try this. When I think, think of, of his goodness and what he's done for me. When hmm. I think of his goodness and how he set me free. I want to dance, 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 dance all night. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, something like that. So here we go. Are they going to three? Ready? Ready? One, two, two three. three. Go. When I... Think of his goodness and what he's done for me. I can help but shout a little bit. I can't help but dance a little bit. I can't help but praise a little bit. For me, think of his goodness, how he set me free. I'm gonna death, 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 death. Right. Come on, just have a good time. Hey, when I think of his goodness, what is up for me? Think of his goodness, shout. We're gonna shout, 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 shout.
What is on for me? Think of this goodness. How it set me free. I'm gonna shout, 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 shout. day just playing in my head and that's not a bad thing guys here's the reason why it reminds me of today's PowerPoint think, think about, about what, what God, God has done, done for, for you. you well in today's Bible story we're gonna learn about Joshua and how God helped them to cross the Jordan River Jordan. Oh, last week we have Pastor Jordan. Now it's the Jordan River. Now it's the Jordan River. There you go. I wonder if there'll be another Jordan next week. Yeah. But anyways. Let's go check out the story about Joshua. And the Jordan River. And the Jordan River. The Faithful Hall of Fame. Joshua. This is Joshua. Hello. Joshua was the leader of the Israelites, uh. who God would use to take his people into the promised land. Yeah, let's do it. Joshua readied his people to cross the Jordan River, which was the only thing dividing the Israelites from the land that God had promised to them. All right. We're here, okay. They camped beside the river for three days, waiting, just as the Lord had commanded them. At this time of year, the Jordan River was flooded and flowing with so much water that it was impossible to cross on foot. And then the Lord said, let there be water. Hey, priest. Yeah? Come on. God told Joshua to tell the people that the priests would carry the Ark of the Covenant and lead the people through the water. He told the priest to step into the rushing waters. Wait, huh? And when they would do this, the waters would stop flowing. Uh, all right. And as soon as the priest did this, the water of the Jordan River did stop flowing. Yeah. And the priest stood with the Ark of the Covenant on dry ground as the Israelites crossed to the other side. All right. God told Joshua to send 12 men from the 12 tribes of Israel Go again. to take 12 stones from the place that the priests were standing. When all this had been finished as God commanded, Joshua called the priests from the Jordan. We're good, come on. As their feet left the Jordan River, the waters came back into place just as they had been. Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They brought their stones to their camp and set them as a memorial so future generations might remember the story of how God brought his people through the Jordan River on dry ground. I love to see how God just keeps on doing things. And in this Bible lesson, God made the impossible possible. The same way how he did the impossible for the Israelites, he can do the same thing for us. Think about what God's done for you. Even when things are going absolutely crazy, absolutely bananas around you, think about what God has done for you. And be thankful, of course. Think about what God has done for you. Of course. Thankfulness. Don't forget. And let's go check out our memory verse. We've got a memories for y'all. Memory for the ring. I meant to yes. say, check out the memory verse, y'all. Y'all. First Thessalonians 518. Come on! In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of
seriousness even in the middle of COVID even in the middle of the craziness surrounding us we still got to give God thanks even when nothing makes sense and you're going through the roughest of times think about what God has done for you now here's something we want to do we want to pray two prayers today one where you saints kids get to repeat after us like we always do at the very end we want to pray and ask you to engage in prayer so that you can repeat thankfulness. Yes. But then we also want to pray over you, saints, kids. We want to pray over your families, that God's doing some miracles and that you have hope because God sees you and that you can be grateful for what you have. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask you to close your eyes. Yes. By your heads. And for the first part of the prayer, repeat after Simon. Let's go. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. For today. For today. I'm breathing. I'm breathing. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm well. I am well. And there's so many more blessings. And there are so many more blessings. That I may have forgotten about. That I might have forgotten about. That you've given me. That you've given me. And I. And I. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. About what you've done for me, God. About what you've done for me, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. In your name. In your name. Saints kids, saints families, mom, dad, whoever else is watching, we want to pray over you. Yeah. Father God, I want to just say thank you so much for our saints families out there, for our kids, for our brothers, sisters, uncles, aunts, mom, dad, grandparents, whoever it is, cousins, whoever was watching. God, we are going through a crazy season all over the world, something that we've never experienced in history before. But God, I'm asking you for the hearts of those that are listening right now that you just cheer up their hearts. God, they can sit down and create a list, a long list of things that they can be thankful for. God, that they're not stuck at one, two, or three. But God, as they, as they think about what you've done for them, that they can not stop counting their blessings. God, I'm asking you for hope right now. God, there may be some hopeless situations out there, but even in the middle of the hopeless situations, we believe that with our voices, we can speak over those moments. Yes, yes. And we believe that our thankfulness can triumph over the negative, yes. the discouraging, yes. and the tough moments that we're facing yes. in life right now. Yes. God, we always can be thankful. You died on the cross for us, for all of us. That will never change, and we will be eternally grateful for that. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. We're out. This was it. Week two. Week thankful. two of thankfulness. but. We still have Zoom at 10 a.m. every Sunday. And we're going to leave you with Mr. Christian Baker to talk to you guys about some special announcements. Happy Sunday! Happy Sunday, Saints kids and kids worldwide. My name is Christian, and I'm so excited to be worshiping with y'all today.